Ayan, good morning everyone! Magandang umaga po! Uh, beautiful, very beautiful Tuesday po sa inyo lahat. Um, today, ayan, PSEI is down at 7552. <laughs> ayan po sa screen nyo, ayita nyo po. Uh, 7552 PSEI, net foreign selling pa rin tayo. Um, yesterday, negative 512.9 uh, million. Uh, pinangunahan nila Bicor, pagmagsak ni Mac. Uh, sila MWC, yung mga blue chips natin, Ali, bumabagsak. Kaya la corporation, bumagsak. Ang dami. MPI, even MPI, negative 5%. Ali, CG, MAPI, XP. And ang dami pula kahapon sa market. And it's still not foreign selling. It's still, the market is sleeping. Natutulog pa rin ang market natin. And, ayun. Sadly, that's the update for the market. But anyways, uh, we have the international market to look at. Um, meron mga magandang position sa international market. Um, ka international market naman sa US na stocks, especially the index stocks, uh, medyo nasa taas na. So we're looking for, I was looking for stocks na I can enter, which are still uh, still not at the top levels pa rin naman. We were able to enter into it last week and it's already gaining for us, which is good. Diba? So we'll talk about the market today. Uh, welcome to the daily grind. Yeah. So if you have any comments, if you, any questions, please post it on the comments. Para naman po uh, ma, 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 matingnan natin. Alright? Let me just turn this down and I'll go to the comments really quick. And Gio Ambas, good morning sir. Mark Lester, good morning sir. Lloyd and Laika, present. Good morning Mark Lester. Gio Ambas, any comments sa CPG? I was looking at CPG earlier. Nasa support sa CPG eh, di ba? So let's open CPG. As a support sa CPG pa rin So, I already recommended CPG on the support right here. And, I'd say, yeah. Um, okay pa rin sa support. Nasa support ngayon sa CPG. Pag nag-green yan, it's a good time to test the support. Medyo nasa, hindi naman siya sa taas talaga. But, CPG is looking good already. I already I've been recommending CPG ever since. Ang tagal ko na ni-recommend ito sa CPG, di ba? Um, dito pa sa baba and it's uh, it's been winning a lot already since that time um, now uh, CPG is creating a support right here hindi ko masabi nag bullish pa ito it's on a sideways trend so if you wanna test out the support just do test by malit lang ng pera muna ilagay nyo muna dito before you wanna go aggressive on CPG hopefully the support uh, holds right at least meron dyan na sa support at pag nag-confirm na ito ng uptrend and then just look for the pullback and bounce and then that's where you put more money in it and uh, be more aggressive we have a resistance right here so risk to reward ratio wise napakaganda ng risk to reward ratio ni CPG you can test this out should you want to right yun nga lang market is very um, very what they call this uh, market is very thin alright um, kahapon um, net foreign buying si CPG uh, kahit pula siya so pero 24k lang <laughs> right so napakalit lang na, na amount right for um, nasa volume sa CPG so it's very small right now that's the hard thing about the PSE right ang pag wala kasi volume ang hirap ng technical analysis Giambas right um RTZC good morning coach uh, good morning then Edgar Dugalang Good morning Sir Lloyd Anyari sa market ha Puro sun at tech Pinaglalaroan Yun nga lang eh Dun lang, Yun lang ang opportunity So sadly um, Si sun and tech Are the biggest winners yesterday And dun yung volume Si Tugs One of the biggest Biggest winner yesterday Keep telling you Just keep buying Tugs And there it is Nagsisimulan ang makit si Tugs So congratulations Sumang nag-hold At nag-average down kay Tugs Very big win already for you Kay, kay Tugs Si sun and tech lang Ang medyo ma-action yesterday Um Ayun, uh, we were able to recommend Sun at the support, so that's good. So guys, hopefully, nanalo kayo when we recommended Sun. Right there, laki na ng panalo na yan. Alright, masyado mataas na si Sun, kaya hindi ko na recommend I, I should I should recommend this again if ever it will give us a good position. It gave us a good position noon dito sa support na ito. That's why we recommended it. Ayoko na siya ngayon, masyado mataas na. Si Tech rin. Alright, um, there are opportunities in this naman kasi, right? Sabi nyo sa akin, hindi mo na nire-recommend ito ngayon, Sir Lloyd, pero umakit pa rin naman. Yes, there is, uh, there is opportunity in this. This can still go up, pero, pero it is against our strategy. My trading strategy is position trading. 
or at least man lang smog swing trading tayo dito and there's no position here and there's no swing trading position here day trading pa lang position ngayon bakit day trading lang because it's already very high risk if you look at the supports it's very far away so hindi natin it's already out of a position so wag kayo maiingit diyan if ever hindi kayo day trader if day trader kayo you can check the volume it's very volatile so volatility is our friend so ganda sana nito if ever meron tayong day trading na short selling or not this may opportunities tayo so yeah um you can look at tech you can look at ano sun for day trading but i do not recommend them for, for position training trading anymore right um and uh Jetty, good morning po sir good morning then hi sir lord insights for ali um medyo mainit pa ngayon sila ali tinitira pa siya ng president ngayon kaya yun bumagsak si ayala Land Incorporated kasi yung ano yung sa UP um, ano nga ba yung pangalan na yun something hub something <laughs> yung lupa na yan tit, um, mukhang iniimbestagahan na ng gobyerno um, so ayan negative sentiments for uh, Ali all the way no, negative 213 right, so there's an anomaly with the contract na naman kasi sobrang mura na uh, pinarenta yung, yung lupa na yun eh. so Yan. Uh, it's gonna affect Ayala that much. That's the reason why Ayala and AC dropped because of that. So I want to stay away from them for now. Kasi masyado mainit pa yung stock. Mamaya na pag medyo tahimik na and we can see reversals already. That's where we want to start um, capturing it. Edward Vince, good morning Sir Lloyd and to all investors and traders out there. The companies under Ayala's dragged the market lower yesterday. Bear market na po ba status ng PSEI? Sir, um, overall PSEI is still on a sideways trend, right? Um, we have major supports right here, so I, we cannot say it's a bearish market. Um, uh, pero ayan lang, wala lang, wala lang ano, wala lang, uh, wala lang investors because of the government right now, um, acting up on the ano on the huge companies, right? So what I will strongly recommend is stay away from the market for now while mainit pa masyado, right? Um, we're still on adjustment phase so at least man lang kumubumaba yan uh, we will be ready and dyan yung pera natin ready para sa bullish na na market that's why I've been recommending na international market market muna tayo because it's PSEI it's very hard right now I tell you grabe um, grabe yung pulahan kay, um, kay PSEI right now habang sa international market makita nyo po ang mga companies nasa taas na Tesla has just hit the highest it has been the past few days, my watch list, kung makikita nyo po sa watch list ko, purus green, halos lahat. Kasi, ayun, um, grabe ang mga stocks. So, ngayon, I have three recommendations for the international market that you can check if you already have an eToro account. Um, pwede po kayo mag-trade on your own, right? Technical analysis is much, much uh, far better here in the international market because of the volume. Mas madali kasi i-trade pag may healthy volume kasi the technical analysis tend to work better. Edgardo, galang Sir Lloyd, pacheck naman si Yam. Hindi JFC yan ha. <laughs> Wait, tingnan natin. Let, let me open ano, let me open pro charts first. Launch pro charts. Let me load my layouts. Right, so tingnan natin si Yam. Yam yam yam. Yum Brands Incorporated. Fundamentally, I'm not very familiar with the stock, but it just did a breakout. Amazing, right? So, how fully familiar na sa inyo itong pattern na ito, ha? Sobrang sikat na yung pattern na yun. I've been, I, I've been teaching this in PSEI before. This was very helpful in PSEI. Itong itsura na ito. Itong itsura na ito na palaki, then lumiliit ang Bollinger Bands. This was very useful in PSEI back when PSEI was bullish and has good volume. So this is called trading with Bollinger Bands. It's been touching the after Bollinger Bands at this level. So this is a very big signal that the start stock is starting to go up and then with backed up with price action in Limipad. So yum, you can go aggressive to and this stock, I'm not really sure about the fundamentals. Let's check out the fundamentals of yum muna ha. Ano ba sinasabi ng mga experts kay Yam at the very least? Let's go to research. Um, uy, buy, buy, buy. Alright, so moderate buy and hold ang kay Yam. So this is looking good. So this should 
do better in the next coming months. Yeah, you can go ano, you can go on a breakout for this. I strongly recommend hindi naman gaano kalakasan yung ano niya, yung momentum niya. I will strongly recommend just wait for the pullback and bounce before you wanna get in yam. Uh, you can do a breakout strategy pero uptrend na po ito eh. So mas maganda kasi sa uptrend doon tayo sa support. So next pullback and bounce mas maganda pumasok, right? So antayin lang natin ang pullback kay yam and bounce. I could be wrong, pwede yan tumubo pa ngayon. If you want to go aggressive on this, at least test buy man lang and then mag pull back and bounce and just buy more and then dun mo kompletuhin yung parang test buy mo on the bounce if ever mag pull back man. Okay? That's for yam. Uh, at least ma test testing lang natin. Right? Sard's, uh, Sard family. Uh, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Pasilip naman po. VZ, ITAB, QD. Right? So VZ. VZ. Ayan, si Verizon. Kamustahin natin si Verizon. Uy, si Verizon. Kakasupport lang kay ni Verizon. Ha? Right. So, Verizon. We should have tested this at, at the support. Um, so, maganda mag-pullback ito. Mag-bounce. Masa malay malayo na tayo sa support. Medyo nakalipad na tayo. So, huwag nyo pipilitin dyan. Kasi may resistance dito. Um, possible. Mga mag-downtrend ito si Verizon din. So, it's as much as possible. We wanna test it on a support. Right. For Verizon. Uh, this is already a missed opportunity. Um, it's already very risky. Baka mag-pull back na ito mag, mag, ano, magtuloy-tuloy sa, ano sa downtrend niya. So, we'll wait for a further confirmation at the support at the very least. Kung gusto natin pasukin si Verizon. Uh, tapos na kasi yung trend niya. Right? And it's already very expensive at this point. So, I cannot recommend Verizon anymore. Itab. Itab. Now, this is much better, right? So, ITAB, um, we are at support levels at 8,000. Uh, starting to bounce already. Pero medyo massive yung drop niya. I'm not really sure why. Uh, I want you to check out the fundamentals of this company. If ever maganda yung fundamentals niya, let's check out, check out ITAB. Hold, no data available. Like the downgrade, initiated coverage nagsusell sila added 22 so it's a mixed emotion I mean mixed uh, recommendation from everyone so kind of tricky for ITAB uh, ganito lang just to be safe just look for the support of ITAB before you wanna get in ITAB okay so yan um, in QD tignan natin sa QD market updates lang tayo ngayon um, tomorrow I'm gonna be um, we're gonna be doing an episode for a request from a viewer um, yung request natin last uh, week meron anong full compared to funds like Warren Buffett mas ano ba mas maganda na investments right we'll talk about that tomorrow um, QD and NFC QD medyo downtrend pare so stay away from QD for now um, though we are we are seeing divergences right here so bumaba siya ng dalawang araw but this is a higher RSI compared to initial drop kaso nga lang itong RSI nito is very sharp so it's it could be a uh, uh, dead ano it could be a bad uh, bad signal pag ganito masyadong volatile move it gives us false RSI readings so we'll wait we'll wait right um well, di pa di pa tayo sure dito right masyadong mababa pa siya right and very volatile on the downside right arts from scratch good morning sir lloyd um anfi for tesla po si tesla masyadong mataas na just wait for tesla to drop muna and then let's wait for an, uh, a bounce before we wanna get in hopefully magtuloy-tuloy ang akyat ni Tesla Anfe I think Tesla is gonna go up today um nakita niyo po ba yung video na um SpaceX uh what they call this is SpaceX um tested ano tested um spaceship uh spaceship tuloy uh, rocket na nag eject yung ano yung yung sa mga pilot so that's very good for SpaceX uh, that should trickle down your sentiments to, with Tesla. So, baka umakit si Tesla today. So, you can, ano, you can, you can speculate on that. Uh, si Anf, uh, Anfi, Anfi, uh, resistance, and then nag -buma, bumababa na si Anfi. I would strongly recommend get in Anfi pag nag-breakout ito. Um, it's either on a breakout or if it hits this support right here dito sa, dito sa baba. Itong support na ito, dito sa baba. Right? It's either a breakout or dito. Okay, that's for Anfi. Um, Ford, si Ford naman. Alright, si Ford. Mukhang downtrend eh. Um, this could be a descending triangle. 
So if ever descending triangle, I hope you know this already. Uh, whenever there's a descending triangle, you know where to enter it. So this is the descending triangle Ford is forming right now. So the story of the market right now is that, let me just remove this. The story of the market is that um, it's a mix of a bearish sentiments. You can see that by the price action, the resistance, the buying is going down, but there are people buying here. Uh, if you see this one right here, this is an indicator na noong na hit niya yung support, umakyat rin ka agad and then continue the uh, continue the the downward trend niya, di ba? Uh, your resistance niya. Now, uh, what we will be waiting for is confirmation that this support is uh, is gonna win. Right? For us to know if this support is gonna win, it needs to break out from this resistance. Right? So, this resistance right here should be broken and then pag nag-break yan ng resistance, that is where we wanna enter because that is a rejection of the negative sentiments. Right? Pag na-reject yung downtown na yan, then that's where we're gonna get in. Right? Ford is a very good company. So yes, hello po sir. Okay po ba si ATN? Si ATN, I'm recommending ATN for long term. Uh, ang ganda kasi ng business, um, business um, na yan. Right? I recommended ATN here. Congratulations sa mga pumasok kay ATN. If you remember that, I've been recommending ATN here at the support. Um, pag nag-pull back and bounce, then that's where we, where we gonna, we're we gonna get in ATN again. But I'm recommending ATN for long term. Recommended buying some ATN here. Right? Congratulations sa mga pumasok kay ATN. Arjun Mendoza, good morning, sir. Um, and like uh, uh, ISM, Starbucks, and Microsoft. Thank you. ISM is for long term. I'm recommending for long term pa rin si ISM. Uh, so far, so good. It did a breakout, the pullback, and then there it is. Nag bounce na naman. Um, really hard to. Uh, it's not yet completely on a strong trend right now, right? We have a we have a pattern right here. Pag nag breakout yan jan, that will be a best entry for ISM. Sa mga hindi pa nakapasok, and if you wanna trade ISM for short term, that's the best entry right there. Um, I strongly recommend you just accumulate on ISM and then. I think the third telco is going to be doing well. So it's backed up by the government and China tell. So it's, I think ISM is going to be very good in the future. So for, that's for my sen 10 cents for ISM. Starbucks! Nope. Alright, so Starbucks naman. Saan naman taas na? Uh, nagsisisi tuloy ako. Bakit ko binenta yung Starbucks ko? <laughs> I invested in Starbucks. Napabenta ako dahil kay Trump yung ginyeran niya si Iran. Ngayon, ang hirap na tuloy mag maghanap ng ano maghanap ng position. Yan. Sabi sa inyo, sell half lang eh. Hindi ako, hindi ko sinell half. I wanted to reset my positions kasi. And then, there it is. Starbucks. Congratulations sa so, mga pumasok kay Starbucks. International market, guys. This is how beautiful the international market is. Um, si Starbucks kasi, kahit na magkagera sa US tsaka si Iran, yung mga tao sa Pilipinas, yung tao sa ibang bansa, hindi titigil sa pag-inom ng Starbucks. So, yeah. Starbucks is a good company. Just wait for the pullback and bounce before you wanna get in Starbucks. Right, this is a good find. Right, see si MSFT din sa Microsoft ang hirap maghanap ng position ngayon. Shadow mataas pa si Microsoft. I will really want Microsoft to really drop again before I wanna get in. Though if you wanna follow the trend, if you wanna go trend trading, we have a clear uptrend line right here. So if it goes, it does a pullback and bounces at that support, that's where you test the Microsoft entry and then strict cut loss lang. Right, I want you to do strict cut loss here because it's too mahal na yung stock na yan, right? So, continue it Microsoft. Though, lakas na, lakas na volume kahit pula, pula yan. Still a bullish uh, signal. It's just that we are playing at the resistance right now. Nasa resistance tayo. Huwag niyong pasukin yan sa resistance. Check, uh, check it out at the support even if it's on an uptrend. So, that's for Microsoft. Francis Whalen, good morning. Edward Vincer Lloyd, for shorting po ba ang... G I L D B A and Light. Thanks, G I L D. I'm not sure what this company is. Gil Gilead Sciences, right? Guild. Mahirap na ito is short kasi nasa support na ito eh. Right? Dapat dito sa resistance. This is a very clear resistance. This should be where we have to short it at this um at the confirmation of shorting sana. So Guild is already too low to short it. Uh, you don't have um yung risk to reward ratio yung mababa na so it's not a good um entry anymore so wag muna right and then BA si Boeing 
Nasa support si Boeing, it's really hard to say if it's uh, if it's a short sell or not. Right? Si Boeing is in a support. I don't recommend shorting it because this is usually where people start buying, right? So wag mo na kay uh, wag mo na i-short si BA. And light naman. Oh, yeah, to si light. Much This is a much viable ano, shorting position. Right? So yeah, you can try to short mo um light and then just stop loss on shorting nyo if ever mag rally yan dyan. But yes, we have a very strong uh, sell signals for light. We have sell signals for uh, RSI sell signals, MACD sell signals. We have sell signals from our SAR and sell signals from si Fractals lang nag buy, but okay lang yan. Um, overall, it's a sell signal for for this for this company. Tap, mukhang tapos na yung rally niya. So yeah, light. I would say yes, tapos na yung trend niya. You can start shorting this. Sorry family, maraming salamat po, Sir Lloyd. You're welcome po. Jeffrey Guma, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Insights mo kay B Corp, MWC, and Ali. Stay away from them for now. Masyado pong, um, masyadong ano. Si B Corp, nag ano na yan, uh, it's bound, it was bound for pullback, so antay natin ulit. Mamaya na, testing natin. All right, I recommended B Corp here. Congratulations, lumipad si B Corp when I recommended it. You were able to ride it. So, congratulations. And now, hindi ko na i-recommend yan kasi masyado matasa. Let's wait for Beaker to settle down ulit. And then, that's where we start buying it again. Right? Stay away from these stocks for the meantime. Right? It's on a downtrend. So, we don't have any, we don't have any, what they call this, um, any position there. You don't have any business there. MWC and Ali also, masyadong, masyadong maraming drama. Don't like these kinds of stocks for the meantime. So, so stay away from this. Also, I don't. I will not be recommending these three. Uh, Joseph Tanel, Sir Lloyd, pag bumili at uh, bumili uh, sa market, uh, saan papasok yung buy nun? Example, kung mag gap, gap up. Alright, so international market. If you, ganito kasi yan sa international market. So, let's open it or offer. I'll go to my virtual portfolio. Go to virtual port. Right, so this is my virtual portfolio. It's earning, amazing. Right, anyways, um, for example, if you wanna buy Intel, I was looking at Intel today. So if you wanna buy Intel, right? So buy, 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 back, buy, units, value, buy, ato buy. So if you buy Intel, meron kasi dito ng rate right here on the right side. So if you click on rate. Meaning, ikaw ang mag, ano, ikaw ang, uh, ikaw ang magdedetermine anong presyo ka papasok. Right? So, for example, INTC, into, uh, in, Intel, INTC, Intel. Right? So, example, Intel. Gusto mong pumasok sa 60.0. So, 60. So, if you pl place it at 60, dun ka papasok sa 60. Okay? If ever mag gap up yan at mag open sa 61, uh, 61, hindi ka na makapasok niyan, right? Kasi masyadong mataas na eh, right? Uh, I'm not sure. Ah, uh, lang. Yeah, papasok yan, right? Um, ang ibig sabihin lang kasi nito ang uh, or pending order is, ano eh, pag hindi pa na-hit yung price na yan, hindi ka pa makapasok, right? If you cl click kasi on the market, and if ever, if you hit a click on the market, whatever the market price is, kung mag gap up man yan, papasokin mo yan kaagad, right? So, if ever, piliin nyo po tong at market, right? Whatever the market price is, kung mag gap up man yan, yung presyo ng market, mapapasok mo, okay? So, if uh, for example, say in, in, in Intel, right here. So, if ever, mag gap up siya to 60, 59, Alright, let's say 60.59, um, makapasok ka agad if at the market. Pero kung ang presyo linagay mo is 61, um, hindi pa makapasok yan. So, ikaw, um, it's either you click on rate, kung rate, anong presyo mo gusto pumasok, um, at market, whatever the price is, um, makapasok ka. That's to answer um, Joseph Tanael. Kung gap up yan, then automatically, kung anong presyo, automatically, yun yung papasokin mo. I mean, yung close pa market. Uh, Marmish, good morning po. Pa check po si Shaq and Zain. Alright, Shaq. Alright, si Shake Shaq. Doon tayo sa, doon tayo sa charts natin. Shaq. Nope, not there. Shaq. 
Shake Shack Incorporated. Wait, so Shake Shack Incorporated, pa pull back na. Antay lang natin ng bounce, and then that's where we wanna get in. Okay, na itong position nito. Shake Shack, look at this poor formation ulit. Very familiar, di ba? This is the formation when I recommended Beyond Meat. Um, Sinwarte Tech and Beyond Meat. And there it is, that formation again. Um, Bollinger Bands are tightening, and then I recommended Shake uh, Beyond Meat here, and then we were able to win around 50% from that recommendation. So, Bollinger Bands po, andyan po sa video description. Please uh, watch that video uh, if, you're, if, you don't, if you're not familiar with Bollinger Bands yet. So, please watch that video. Very important. Especially sa international market kung nag-trade na kayo sa international market. Speaking of the international market, um, konting break lang tayo. Um, if you haven't created an account in eToro yet, please create an account in eToro. Use, please use yung link lang po na nasa video description. Um, that is my affiliate link that is gonna help the channel a lot para mapagpatuloy po natin itong daily grind and helping uh, Filipinos with investments. Okay? Um, also, if ever nakagawa na kayo ng account, uh, eToro has a promotion for first-time funders. Right? First-time funders, meaning nakagawa na kayo ng account under me, uh, kahit pa last year pa or the, the year before. If it's under me, right? if you created my link um, to create the account, then you are uh, you should be qualified for the ano, for the promotion. Okay, all you need to do is fund account. It should be verified and it should be funded. Pag nag-fund kayo within January 16 to February 5, then you will get a $50 promotion. That's amazing. I checked out the list of people who created the account under me. Nasa 2,000 po, right? Kahit man lang 50% ng mga gumawa na account under my link will create an account. Um... That's a thousand and fifty dollars times a thousand. That's fifty thousand dollars. That's two million plus two point five million. Binibigay ni Itoro sa atin ng libre. That's very big for us Filipinos already. Lakin tulong na yan. So please take advantage of it and use um use the use the link. Please use the link when you create an account. Okay. Also, I'll be giving out these uh two of these very beautiful power banks from Itoro. Right? For those who are who qualified, magpipili po tayo ng dalawang lucky winners um, to get this ano, to get this power bank from Itor. Okay? Um, Cisco and Citigroup. Right, to check. Um, let's go back to the recommendations. I mean, the queries. Um, Zain. Zinerba. And says Zinebra. <laughs> It um Zain is looking well, right? Patas na yung RSI niya, right? I'd say yes. Um pag nag-bounce ito si Zain, then enter the support of Zain. Pasukin niyo po support ni Zain, right? Um very low risk right now. Um let's check out Zain uh, overall as a company. Uh Zain Z Y N E. Ano ni sinasabi ng mga experts dito? Zain should be okay already. Right, yes, mataas na yung mga ano niya, buy na lahat. I'd say yes, it's a strong buy, even the lowest estimate is still a gain for Zain. 18.5 ang target ano ni Zain. I'd say yeah, B ako bibilin ko to. Um, Joseph Edelman, kaso nga lang maliit lang naman yung ano niya, ratings niya. Um, binitawan nila lahat ng Zain nila. Alright, you can check, um, uh, hedge funds naman ito eh, so okay lang yan. Right, pinitawan na nila hedge funds nila, meaning most probably nag-flat out na ito. So yes, um, I'd say buy. I would be buying Zine if ever mag-green ito today. Right? Um, si Zine pa nasa watch list ko na. Hindi pa. So I'm gonna be putting Zine in my watch list right here. Put it here. Right, so Zine is starting to bottom out. This is looking good for Zine. Very good find. Um, Marmish. Marimsh, wala, Marimsh pala, not Marmish. Marimsh. Ang hirap ng name nyo, ah. <laughs> Alright, so, good find. Congratulations for this find. I'm gonna be buying this tonight also. Edward Vincisco and Citigroup. Uh, si Citigroup nag-break out, pero masyadong mahal na po si Citigroup, not Chelsea. Si Chelsea lumalabas dyan, eh. Si local yun. Citigroup. Ayan. So, masyadong mataas na si Citigroup. Um, it did the breakout, pero hindi po nagsusustain. 
So I st I don't want to recommend this anymore. Masyado mataas na si Citigroup. And if you want to see, we have a bearish uh, signal right here. Paakyat yung RSI niya. I mean, paakyat yung resistance niya. But RSI is starting to drop already. So this right here is a bearish divergence. I don't want to recommend that anymore si Citigroup. Sir, Lloyd, SSI po. Pwede po check. Right, si Cisco. Meron pa pala si Cisco. Before, after that, we'll go to um, SSI. Right, so Cisco. Yeah, kaka breakout lang ni Cisco. We talked about this. So I wanted to go near the support. Uh, let me just um, create a screenshot. So I can draw in it. Right, so it created a resistance right here and then did the breakout, right? So this is looking good for Cisco. It's doing a pullback right now and any bounce soon above that resistance is a good entry because this will be our support right here. So abangan nyo po, malapit na itong maggumawa ng entry so we can test out Cisco right here. Yeah, looking good for Cisco. Ah, add ko rin ito ha. Add ko si Cisco sa list ko. Cisco. Right, always back it up with ano, always back it up with uh what you call this um so uh with fundamentals. So check out what the experts from Morgan Stanley, James Fawcett, Tim Long from Barclays, check out what their uh what their fundamental recommendations are. So they're saying it's a buy, so I'd say yes, uh, Cisco is looking well. Right, I'll add Cisco to my watch list. This is a I like tech stocks. Right, so PSE, ayan, um, from Nelson Panaligan, Sir Lloyd, SSI po, pwede pa check. Mustay natin si SSI. Um, hmm? Right, resistance na tayo kay SSI. It did a breakout right here. Kaso nga lang, we have a secondary resistance right here. So it's very challenging. This is very challenging for SSI. Um, hirap. Mas maganda dito, support na lang tayo mag-enter kay SSI. If ever it goes back down to support or MA20, that is where we want to enter SSI. Hopefully, it does a breakout and breaks from the secondary resistance. Mas maganda support entry nito kaysa breakout. So, antayin lang natin bumaba pa si, ano, si, si SSI. Right, so there's a question here from Edgardo Galang, Sir Lloyd. Pacheck of short selling na si Microsoft. Uh, MS ba, Microsoft? Is it MS si Microsoft ay ibig masabihin or MS is a different ah Morgan Stanley right Morgan Stanley is for, if it, is it for short selling I'd say no because we are on an uptrend do not go against the trend number one rule in trading do not go against the trend unless meron tayong clear na signals here we don't have any clear signals even though RSI is telling us na <coughs> over ano na yan, over over bot na yan. It's not a shorting, ano, it's not a shorting position. Kasi pwede pa yung magpahinga para hindi na maging overbought and then umakit na naman ulit and hindi natin alam kung kano kalakas ang akit nito considering the gap up. I don't want, I don't want you to go shorting this, right? Do not go against the trend. RG, sir, good morning, NVIDIA. Si NVIDIA, naghahanap ko ng position kay NVIDIA. Kaso nga lang, sobrang taas ni NVIDIA right now, right? And we have resistances right here. We are even hitting lower highs already for NVIDIA. So it's not a buy anymore. I did buy NVIDIA on the breakout. We were able to win from this. Binenta ko, pero umakyat pa siya na umakyat. <laughs> Grabe si NVIDIA. But anyways, uh, it's it this is not giving us any position right now. Don't worry. In the future, gagawa yan ng pullback. Huwag yung maingit. Magpo-pullback yan. Pag nag-pullback, then gumawa yan ng entry for us. Papasukin natin. But right now, it's very high up there. Hopser, RLT po. Mustay natin si RLT. Nawala na akong gana si PSE. Eh. Bagal eh. <laughs> International market. Akyat lang na akyat. Sana dun lang tayo. Right, RLT. Possible reversal for RLT. We have a reverse head and shoulder pattern for RLT. Right? So, this is the best entry point for RLT. We have already an ascending support. So, yes, there, do natin pasukin pag nag-bounce si RLT. This is a good signal for R RLT. Any bounce soon should be good for RLT. So, good find. Um, good find ops. Uh, Paul, Mark, so let's say hi, sir. Any insights mo sa si LTG? Pababa po kasi siya ng pababa. More power. God bless. Ganun nga eh. In the, in the PSE right now, even if the companies are good, Pababa ng pababa. LTG has been showing us good third quarter earnings. Akala ko nga, mag-ano na ito eh. Mag-reversal na ito eh. Diba? We have a reversal and shoulder pattern here. Recommended LTG on this support. 
Kaso nga lang, after the support, uh, bounce, hindi na nagtuloy-tuloy. Yun nga, kasi walang investors. Pag walang investors sa market, hirap talaga umakit ang stock. So, breaking the support right now, but RSI is looking well. So, hopefully, anytime soon, magre-reversal na ito. Okay naman si RLT so far. It's just that the market right now is very slow. PSE, to be specific. Alvin Galvez, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Anong insights mo kay SRO? CHP is at a good offer. No, it's not because pambabayad na naman nila ng utang yan. Wag po. Wag po. Wag po. Wag po. Wag po. Alright. I don't recommend it a- averaging down from that stock should you want to buy it. If ever meron na kayong position dyan, I have a video and dyan po sa video description how to average down without adding funds. Just do that instead kaysa bumili kayo ng SRO. Right? Sorry family, may bonus pa rin ba? Nag-register ako last week of December using your link pero wala ako natanggap na Bonus. December, wala tayong bonus. This week, uh, this year lang tayo may bonus. Uh, you have to fund it. Right? Ngayon lang. Mga first-time funders lang po. Right? So, if you haven't funded it yet, you can fund it now. Uh, you can fund it now and then you can get the bonus. Right? This is for uh, this is for first-time funders. So, if ever meron na kayo account, pwede nyo gawa ng account, yung misis ninyo. And then, use my link and then fund it within the, the said dates and then you can get the bonus po. Sorry family Sir Lloyd, may bonus pa rin ba? Right. Uh, the, uh kakasimula lang po ng, bo- ng bonus for just January 16, right? Wala po tayong bonus last December. Sorry family Sir Lloyd. Ayun, tatlong be- Right. Good John Cornell, good morning. Joseph Tanel, may penny stock po ba sa Itoro? Very good question. Um wala pong penny stock sa Itoro. Bakit? Because Itoro runs ano, um copy trading. So, it's not going to be healthy for the market if ever a penny stock is uh, rit- uh, is in uh, is in itoro bakit po if it's a penny stock meaning konti lang po ang liquidity niya meaning konti lang ang stocks niya for example there is someone na ang dami niyang nag- nagkomokopya sa kanya so if ever he buys a stock yung penny stock because of the millions of dollars behind him and magfo-follow niyan it's gonna cause a slippage it's not healthy for the market so magbabayan lahat magiging jockey ang play natin that's why itoro is only um, only trades um, large cap stocks so that um, copy trading can be uh, can be viable at possible si copy trading right so very good question Joseph Tanel sir Lloyd kailan ho pwedeng makakuha ng slot sa wave maging slot because we, we're planning to open this February yeah, so please message mga isla.org para ma-reserve po kayo. Yung in-charge po natin dyan, si Grace, siya po yung in-charge sa reservations. So that, um, yung reservations po, um, yun na yung uunahin. Arjun Mendoza, Sir Lloyd, thanks sa pag ng 5G Revolution. Medyo maganda ng profit. Alright, let's talk about 5G Revolution. Kamustahin natin. 5G Revolution. Right, I recommended this, uh, this fund. This is a fund right here managed by eToro 5G revolution uh, statistics wise for January it's already up 2.71% last year it's up 13.27 if 5G will be released and it's going to be official and it's going to be very good I expect so many companies to get 5G and it this is a very big technology right so I'm, I'm I I just think there's a very bi- bright future for the 5G technology so all the companies involved in 5G should benefit from that advancement in the in this technology. So you can invest in 5G Revolution Fund also. Makagandahan po dito, you can already start with just $2,000. Right? So as low as $2,000, you can already start investing in 5G Revolution. Right? Medyo malaki po siya, pero fund naman po siya. It's already a, a basket case of companies. Um, lahat po ng mga companies involved in 5G is here right here okay so you can search for this um meron mga mas premium na ano uh, mas premium na um funds like um beat the nasdaq uh and this uh, outsmart not nasdaq outsmart outsmart nasdaq this is ai ai po ang naga hindi naman siya ai but algorithm based po ito right so at smart Nasdaq, one of the best, one of, one of the best, yan, one of the best na uh, funds you can invest in in Itoro, right? Um, this is program that it sh- it will outsmart Nasdaq. Nasdaq has been earning, right? But this is earning bigger than Nasdaq, so it 
only cherry picks the best companies and then it's it constantly updates uh, itself if ever sa tingin niya na parang na, na hit niya na yung peak niya he lets go of the stock and look, looks for other stocks at smart Nas- nasdaq gained 44.64% last year it's way bigger than its earnings uh, from nasdaq si nasdaq nasa 30% lang ang gain niya for one year 28 uh, i forgot but it's around that level but look at that 2019 outsmart nasdaq gained 44.64% january 7.98% na po siya right isang taon ko na earnings yan <laughs> 10% lang ako last year eh. but um you can invest in funds this is one of the best funds out there yun nga lang um because it is premium may eh, gumagamit to ng ai eh, it's it's partnered up with microsoft for this um it starts with five thousand dollars right five thousand dollars meaning 250,000 pesos po sa atin but very good fund right very good fund right here last ng kita right mas mataas pa siya kung kumikita si nasdaq and i think nasdaq still gonna be doing well this year so it will uh, it's programmed to beat nasdaq so check out this fund also if you can afford the five thousand dollars if you have spare cash there na tutulog lang sa banko Right, you, I I can recommend this one also. Okay. Right, so man, um, 5G revolution. You're welcome, Argel Mendoza. Good morning, Jam Paul Sikat and Loris Hoxon. Right. So let's go to my recommendations for today. Tatlo lang mga recommendations ko. I recommended this yesterday. Posted about it, pero hindi pa naman na trade yesterday. So still good for today's entries. Right. So, man. Lipat ko lang to. Alright, so my three recommendations for today is Lift, Intuit, and R on Bounce. Alright, I'll post this on the comments. And then naman to sa video description if you're watching the replay. Uh, Nanette Mail, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Happy Chinese New Year to you and your families. You too, Nanette. Alright, happy Chinese New Year din po. Um, sir, pwede po kaya ang BlackBerry, Adidas, at ano po support na Nasdaq. Right, I'll check it out. Uh, so here are my recommendations. I'm recommending Lift for today. L-Y-F-T. Right, it's a Lift. Right, why lift today? Um, yeah, uh, lift on breakout, right? So it is already leaning on the resistances. So pwede na kayong mag set ng order, buy order at 50 for lift, right? You can click on buy and then click on rate and then pwede nyo po ito i 50. Pag na set yung 50, pag nag breakout ito automatically mga paso kayo, right? So just set, set, uh, set your stop losses below that. So lift, malapit na mga breakouts. So lift on breakout into. So Intuit Corporation uh, breakout strategy. Kaka breakout lang ni Intuit. So it's still very viable right now. You can use a breakout strategy for Intuit. Kaka breakout niya lang. Okay. Um, next is R. Right. Si R naman on the bounce. Ito, uh, kasi nakapasok na kay Intuit. Si R naman mukhang magwa bounce na ito anytime soon. So it just did a breakout and then there's a rally right there and then this pullback it should be expected and we're expecting that pullback. Malapit na siya sa um, pullback levels niya. Maliit na lang yung pullback niya. So, any bounce soon. Baka mag-bounce ito today. Pag nag-bounce ito today, then that will be a buy for R. Right? Uh, habang nasa baba pa si R. Tapos na po ang downtrend ni R. Right? I, wanna, I want you to see this right here. This is a very beautiful trend um, breakout right here. So, R, if nakikita niyo po, there's is a very massive downtrend for our very beautiful line right there and we have reversals already right there so yes si R right pag nag bounce yan so okay po si R okay uh, let me just minimize this right so those are my three recommendations for today ang um, pinaka paborito ko po si R pwede na po kasing pasukin uh, si Lyft naman mamaya na pag mag break out this is for an international market so if you wanna join us on trading the international market then uh, please do create an account. Please use my link when you create an eToro account, and and you, you should be able to join the promotion. Sign in fifty dollars. Sa lakim pera rin yan, right? Um, sir, pwede po kaya ang BlackBerry. Tingnan natin si BlackBerry. BlackBerry. BlackBerry Limited. Uy, BlackBerry is looking good. Okay, breakout on BlackBerry. Pag nag-breakout on sa previous resistance niya, kasi meron tayong resistance na dito for BlackBerry. Pag nag-breakout yan, this is gonna be, this is looking good for BlackBerry. Mukhang nag-bottom out na si BlackBerry. Okay? Uh, Adidas. 
Dito ko lang eh, tingnan para ma-drawing ko. Adidas. Ano ba Adidas dito? ads.de ads Ibe, so let's check Adidas. All right, Adidas. Uh bullish run right now. It's doing a pullback. So sa sunod na bounce ni Adidas, pwede na pasukin tayo. Eh. If it goes near ME20, then that's going to be a very good entry for Adidas. This is good. Um good find for Adidas. Ano po support ng Nasdaq NSDQ? Nasdaq 100 ang support niya. So far, MA20 yung pinaka-support niya. So, right here, itong MA20 ang support natin for Nasdaq. 8,900 ang support ni Nasdaq. Okay? Sir Lloyd, if mag-join ako ng eToro, eh, minimum eh, 300 uh, uh, pounds. Mga how much kaya ang earn ko if ever, gaano katagal ang earnings? Um, when it comes to stock market, nothing is, ano, nothing is, uh, nothing is guaranteed. Right? If ever mag invest kayo, let's say you copy someone, we just use the pre uh, last year's ano. Let's just pre use pre uh, last year's mga ano data. Okay? So depending on what you do, you can copy trade or you can put it on a fund. Um, it, it's up to you, right? But with 300 pounds, I think you're gonna be copy trading na lang. So if you copy trade, let's say one of my recommended traders, Omar, it's a. Right, so if you copy trade this guy, so if ever last year ka nag, nag kopya, so Omar Etza is for last year is up 35%, so more or less 35% rin ang gains mo. If ever in one year, right, hindi kasi madali to, stay away from get rich quick, and there's no guarantee in stocks. Uh, for example, Olivier, I strongly recommend you, uh, you try to, ano, you try to. Uh, try to diversify. So, Olivier Danville, um, last year, 8.40 ang gains niya, but this is a very solid trader right here. No red months. Kahit maliit yung gain niya, okay lang, basta hindi pula. Right? So, Olivier Danville, very solid also. Big. Uh, sino pa ba yung mga ano, nirecommend ko? Right? Marami akong nirecommend eh. Uh, let me go to my inbox. Right? So, uh, meron pa si Big Profits. Let's check. If you want to check out Big Profits. Big Profits. Yeah, I, I recommend this guy also. If you copy this guy, he was up 14% last year. So, 14% in one year. Possible nyo pong gains, right? Si Mariano Pardio. This is one I strongly recommend. Mariano Pardo. Mariano Pardo. Right, he was up 34 34% last year. It's already up 6% this year. Right, January pa lang yan. So, taas na kaagad, ba? So, this guy, I strongly recommend also this guy, Mariano Pardo. Right? So, if you ask me, magkano ang kikitain ng $300 mo? If we base it on the results of this guy, let's say for this guy, ito yung kukopyahin mo, 34% for last year, and you're already up 6%. Um, for this year but 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 right previous uh previous performances does not guarantee future performances right so please uh, understand that in stock market also kung gusto niyo po mas uh, mas stable uh, na returns expect lesser returns marami po ibang um, investments dyan mp2 program um uh seed and farm on mangisda.org around playing around 10 to 15 percent so, you can do that, right? If ever dito ka stock market, mas higher risk, mas higher reward. So, basing off from this guy, you could have earned 34% last year. Okay? Again, wala pong guarantee sa investing sa stock market. Melinda Caesar, pwede pa silip ng PayPal. PayPal, sinisilip ko ito eh. Kasi wala, mahal na ni PayPal eh. Uh, we invested in PayPal before we were able to win. Pero grabe si PayPal, paakyat ng paakyat. I don't want to recommend it right now because nasa taas pa siya. Should you really want to enter PayPal, um, get in this support right here. Let me um, let me get a line. So get in this support right here. Dito tayo sa support niya pumasok for PayPal. Okay? So around that level. Um, 
Ed Sheer po, good morning Sir Lloyd. Ganda ng breakout ng gold ngayon. Nakapasok ako kahapon. Eh, pa-check naman po si Twitter. Thanks. Alright, so Twitter. Alright, so gahapon, o nga eh, umakit daw si gold din. Eh. Nagkagulo kahapon kay gold. So congratulations sa mga day traders kay gold. Um, si Arvin, for sure. Uh, si Arfe, yung kaibigan ko na nalo. Um, ang dami kong kaibigan day traders sa gold and oil. Doon sila nagde day trade because dalawa lang titignan nila and then they can focus on them. So, mas maganda kasi dalawa lang tinitignan mo. Right? Um, if you wanna learn how to trade commodities like gold and oil, I have a free webinar about that. Right? So, if you create an account using my link, you should be able to join this webinar. Just send me a message in Financial Freedom 101 sa Facebook page ko po. And then, um, ano, um, sh- uh, send me your username. I will, we will be checking it. If it's under me, then you should be able to join this webinar right here. So, kung gusto niyo po maging day trader, this is the best webinar for you. Okay, and it's for free. All you need to do is create an eToro account using my link. Yun lang. Uh, check natin si Twitter. Um, uptrend na si Twitter, kaka-breakout lang. Um, actually, uptrend siya. So, use an uptrend line instead of a breakout kasi nasa resistance na ng trend niya. So, po, um, pero may napakinibis ng galaw eh. Yeah, okay na to si Twitter. Eh, very, uh, it's already on a bullish move. You can use a breakout strategy for this. Coach, si Ruby MZA. Ano yung Ruby MZA? Um, Ah, sa mga copy trade, si Ruby MZA. Let's check out these guys. Uh, Ruby MZA. Right. Ah, yeah. Isa to sa mga recommended ko. So, si Ruby, yes, uh, isa sa na-recommend ko. Uh, if you consider her gains last year, 2019, 20.19 din ang gains niya. What a coincidence. So, 20% ang gains niya. And Libor Vasa. Right. Girl power for Libor Vasa. Libor Vasa. Yes, this guy is also a good trader. 36% last year. He's already up 3.27% this year. You can consider this guy also. Mga recommended nyo po. Yes. Um, Joseph Tanael, pa insights po kay Kosak1337. Okay po ba siya? Okay na. Ngayon na. Tinitignan natin mga ano na eh. Kosak. Uh, one three three seven. Wala naman hindi naman naka ano naka hindi naman naka profile uh, naka public yung profile niya so hindi po natin masabi kung okay ba siya. Anilin, how much sure should be the cut loss if you copy trade in Etoro? How much should you cut loss? Siguro mga twenty percent. I will recommend twenty percent. Right? De- actually, depende po yan sa yung kopya niyo. For example, let's go for big profits. Big profits. Big profits. Right? So, you look at his statistics. Or, sino ba yung isa maganda? Uh, sinabi ko kanina. So, si Maria Mariano Pardo. <coughs> Excuse me. Eh, si Mariano Pardo. Mariano Pardo. You look, check out his statistics. And then, tingnan nyo po ang drawdown. Okay? This one right here. Just go down. Yearly drawdown niya is negative 8.47. Okay? So, this is what you look at. His drawdown is eight negative 8.47. So, you're gonna, with him, he's the type of trader na ang pinakamababang binagsak ng port niya in one year is only negative 8. Right? So, you now have an idea how much yung risk mo sa kanya. Negative 8 for a winning 34.64%. That's so much, uh, that's very good, um, that's a very good drawdown and risk to reward ratio. So, you basically, if you're Risking 8%, 9% sign. 1 is to 4. Basically, diba? So, this is a good trader. I strongly recommend this guy. Drawdown niya, you're only risking eight, negative 8 and then possible be possible to win 34. So, basically, ito yung pinakamababa niya. So, you give an allowance for that, maybe negative 10 or negative 12% for this guy if you copy this guy. You look at the drawdown, Okay. Yung yearly drawdown niya, max drawdown. Ito yung pinakababa din na, um, na umabot yung port niya. Negative 8.47. But he won 34% uh, overall. Diba? So that's a very good drawdown. So you just add some from that drawdown. And that would sh- that should be your cut loss. Very good question from Annie Lynn. Thank you for your information from Edward Milan TV. All right, um, Rosaline Dariano, Sir Lloyd, I invited my friend to create an account using your link sa eToro na verify na din after deposit funds. Ano po gagawin? I-chat ko 
ka to notify you para mas mag-avail ang promo. Can you, ano, yeah, send me a message in Financial Freedom 101 para i check natin yung, mapacheck natin yung profile. Alright? Make, para lang to make sure if it's under me. Kasi if it's already under me and you funded within the dates, you should be able to get it already. Okay? Alright, so, yes. Um, very good discussion for today. Uh, amazing. Mabutay na 9.30. I was just, uh, I was just preparing recommendations for today. Tomorrow, we're gonna be talking about, uh, um, comparison, right? Saan ba mas maganda mag-invest? Sa VUL or sa funds na lang, right? So, we'll talk about that tomorrow, one of our topics. So, first part, mag-uusap tayo niyan. And then, we're gonna observe the market tonight. Tingnan natin ano pwede natin pasukin sa international market tomorrow. That's it for today. Let me see if meron pa bang comments. Um, Ayan, okay na. Nabasa na natin lahat ng comments. I'll see you again tomorrow. And good luck po sa market. Enjoy the market. PSEI, still very slow. So, wala pong action. You don't have to be aggressive in this kind of market. Right? Simple as that. If it's not on a bullish run, yung market, then as much as possible, do not play in it yet. Because may ipit lang ang pera nyo. And pag naipit ang pera nyo, pag nag-bullish na ang market, wala na kayong pera kasi naipit na doon. Okay? So, it's not the right time to go aggressive. Stay put. Huwag gumalaw. Right? Sitting down is also a trading strategy. That's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. And as always, let's get rich together. Bye, everyone.